Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm Shana Lynn and let's create something today. And I want to show you how I'm going to make little um, marble mazes for my little Valentine's this year. And you need felt, fabric scissors if you have them. It makes things a lot easier. Marbles, these are a uh, pack of 50 for like $3. I originally was going to do this for everyone in my kids' classes, but I don't think I'm going to do that this year. Um, you also need a sewing machine or you can hand sew these or you can use hot glue. So let's get started. What I did is I folded it in half, just like a card, just like that. And then I'm going to crease it. And I'm just going to cut out a rough sketch of a heart. And I'm going to try and make it as big as I can so that the marble has plenty of space to go through once we uh, sew it up. Not my best work. <laughs> Let's maybe clean this up a little. I've made some of these for my kid kiddos already and they love them. A little bit better, we'll work with this. So now we need to sew these together, leaving an, probably about an inch space so that you can flip it over. So I'm going to sew it up now. Oh, I'm just gonna go around the border. That's all for now. Now that we got that all sewed all around, just like this, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm going to cut off all my extra strings and then flip it around. So just a quick and easy, simple little um, thing you can make for your little one, niece or nephew, grandkid. So we're just going to flip it. We're going to flip it through this hole, flip it off, flip it around. Something I also use, which you might not have, um, is a crochet hook. I'll go through and just uh, smooth it all out so that I make sure I got all of it flipped around. And also if you had too much around your border, you might wanna cut that off because it can affect the path of the marble. So I have like this nice long crochet hook. So I just stick it in there and then try and just smooth it out as best I can. So just like that, that's what it looks like all flipped around. So all I'm going to do is make a nice little V stitch, stitch it up right here with a V, just like that on my sewing machine, and then we'll stick the marble in. So I've sewed it up and I have cleaned up the, I cut off my excess. So there it is, just a nice little V stitch. And I even like back stitched here. I could have went back and did it here just to make sure it's nice and secure. So we find a marble, just a regular marble and you stick it in this hole we have here. So we have this. So we're putting our marble in just like that. And then we're going to push it through to make sure it goes all the way through nicely. And it does. So I'm going to bring it back over here so that I can flip this in. And I'm going to make a stitch because I have enough space all around just to make it look a little nicer while I move the marble through to make sure it doesn't get caught in my machine. So 
So the border is all sewed all around. It's a little bit sloppy here. I'm still learning how to sew with my machine and polish it off. But that's what it looks like. And then the marble will just go around just like this. And it's a nice little fidget toy. <clears throat> Excuse me. For a little one in your life or even someone who ha who's an adult and has anxiety. It's something to keep their hands busy. So nice little fun little craft. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.